First tonight, it is back to school week, and today was the first day of school like we've never seen before. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Some local students wore masks and hopped on the bus for their first day. Others logged onto a computer to kick off the new school year. New tonight, 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie spoke with a parent and some students about what this unique first day was like. Erica? Well, Mike Shannon, this is the first time that the first day of school has been a mixed bag statewide. Three districts kicking off their school year completely virtually. The rest, like here in Cranston, bringing a portion of their students back to school today. And for some parents, that meant that one of their kids may have spent the day in the classroom while the other never left the living room. We're all over the place trying to figure out where to go, where to be, what time this meeting is, that meeting is pick up and drop off and it's a whole new year. It was a first day of school like no other. Katie Carbone's first, second, and fourth graders all went back to school in Cranston Monday, but only her youngest actually went back to school. It was sad because he's my baby, and you know, he looks up to his brothers, and his brothers couldn't be there today. Carbone called the day hard, and fellow mom Melissa Ritz couldn't agree more. It gets, you know, trying to just figure out where, where one's going to be, and I had to leave to pick her up but he was still on a math meeting. She says it was a juggling act to pick her daughter up at pre-K while trying to get her second grade son situated online at home while her husband worked from home. I was just like, dad is in the background and if you need him, holler and he'll help you, but I have to go pick up your sister. It's a great day. The governor and education commissioner perhaps more optimistic than those parents on the front lines, though as they greeted kids in the districts Monday, they had admitted holding their breath while 100,000 students statewide walked through school doors for the first time since March. We're nervous. I'm nervous. You know, you have the butterflies a little extra this year. The governor's been sharply criticized for pushing to send kids back to school by those who say it's too risky. Districts like Cumberland, Pawtucket and Warwick agreed and launched their school year virtually. These kids logged on in Warwick. It was different. It was weird. We did Google Meet. Um, we answered some questions about to know each other. Then we did some science and math and then I was done for the day. What did you miss about being in school today? My friends. And despite the distance learning returns in those communities there, it is the governor's expectation that all students statewide return to school in person in some capacity by October 13th. In Cranston, America Ritchie, 12 News.